Are you ready to rumble? <laughs> Isn't that what he does? It's fight night. You look epic with that light on your shoulder. I'm gonna go back right there then and talk. <laughs> what, right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'll put yeah. on my. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right there. Look epic. Yeah, oh yeah, there you go. Yeah. More this way? Yeah, going yeah okay, okay. okay. Uh, this way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to fight night. Are you excited for fight night or what, G? Are you excited for fight night with your BFF? Are you excited? You're my BFF for sure. I'm excited. I'm hella excited. DJ Dillashaw versus I've been Cody watching, Garth. I've been watching UFC since before they had any rules, really. Before, oh. like, the, the steroid era. Yeah, dude. Like, I remember seeing like dudes getting their fucking elbows broken and their fucking or like everything popping out and shit because it was just wild. And steroids. And steroids, yeah. <laughs> is that yeah, what they that were was? Huge. Yeah, dude. Arlovsky was one of my favorites too. I know this is like before. Um, it wasn't back in the day, back in the day, but Arlovsky was a, another one that I was like, damn. So we got two yeah. big fights tonight. Yep. Mighty uh, Mouse. Uh, yeah, Demetrius Johnson. Uh, who is he fighting? Kajon. I don't want to say it wrong. Sorry, little homie. But he's got he's got he got a gold medal in the Olympics. Oh. So he's pretty legit. I think he's legit and he's young. He's like the upcomer. Yeah. And then the battle, the the heated rivalry between Dillashaw and Garbrandt. Who do you got? What's your heart tell you? And then what's your oh, and then yeah. what's your? Oh, really? So my heart. Yeah. I really like Cody. He's, I think he's such a dope dude. Um, but Dillashaw, like his drive and the way he trains and he. The, the amount of improvements I've seen him make is pretty crazy. So I think my brain is telling me Dillashaw, but my heart's telling me Garbrandt. But no matter what happens, it's going to be a good fight. I think it's going to be a good fight. The last fight, Cody Garbrandt dropped him in the first round. Yeah. And then the round, saved, yeah, the, the round was over in like 10 seconds. These little dudes aren't scared to fight. Yeah. Like and they're then, ready to get after it. So if the round would have, if the rounds were like, would have been 30 seconds longer, Done. Garbrandt would have won that one. Yeah. They wouldn't even have a, a rematch. What's your heart telling you, G? Mm, my heart is telling me. So I'm gonna get out of my house. <laughs> wow. <laughs> really good. Uh, you can't Shaw. have <laughs> Dillashaw. <laughs> Dang. My heart. Then what's your brain? He just seems like a fucking firecracker, <laughs> and my brain tells me that too. Oh. Which one? Dillashaw. Wow. I feel like he's just a fucking firecracker. Oh my God, that is dope. So I'm team. I'm, I'm team No Love, dude. Team No Love. No I don't want to sit by you guys. Did also dethrone uh, Dominic Cruz. Dude, who's whooped everybody's ass? Aldo's ass, yeah. Uriah's ass, yeah. TJ's ass. Yeah. I don't think TJ's ever beat Dom. No. So that's that's like it's like a toss up. But Dillashaw is badass too. Cody Cody only has one loss. Which is to Dillashaw? Yeah, I think so. In the UFC. And then Mighty Mouse, right? We got kind of got to go like. He's yeah. literally the Michael Jordan of yeah, the UFC. He is. Who do you think David has? David? Probably oh, Dillashaw. Oh, really? Know. I feel like it. I never hear him talk about No Love. Or, dude, No or Love's... Oh, dude, I'm the only one cheering for No Love, dude. I'm cheering for both. Dude, I'm the only one. When No Love wins, dude, you guys yeah. aren't coming to the after party with I'm, me. I'm or cheering. if you do, I'm going to make you wear TJ Dillashaw shirts I'm, to the party. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cheering for whoever's nice to me. Dude, it's Cody. Cody, and he's like... Oh, hey, what's up? And I'm like, Uncle Sam! <laughs> Uncle Sam! Dude, it'll be Cody. So the whole squad's get down here. I talked to the homegirl, Cynthia. She gets down last night. We'll hopefully meet up with her. Dean from Caffeine Kilos is here. Everybody came down from this fight because, like, I don't think UFC's as much of a team sport in the rest of the world, but in Sacramento, dude, we have the Kings. We have diehard Kings fans. I like the Kings, but we're not very good. But Team Alpha Male is what we got. And it's cool because they're part of the community. Uriah does a bunch of business in the community. Oh, they're part of the community? Tons, dude. Uriah owns like like a bunch of restaurants and stuff. Uh, our homie Josh Emmett owns a restaurant no, in the no. area. They own bars. Like they, they do barbecues. Oh, they do oh, community dude. events and That's stuff. Awesome. They're huge in the community. And then you see them out everywhere. Yeah. Like they, they're not just like, like NBA players, I feel like. LA is so big, so it's hard. But even yeah, in Sacramento, yeah. you don't see them. Like, they go to practice, and then they're sitting in their mansion. Like, your eye is out and about. You can see them in the... A lot of the guys, they don't even live in LA. Right. They're like, OC, wherever. They're just right. Going. So they're not even a part of the community. Yeah, yeah. Team Alpha Male and your eye has done a great job. They're all a big part of it. A bunch of people know Cody. A bunch of people, like, the their lead coach, uh, uh, Danny Castillo, he's, like, his wrestling coach. He's around in the community. He owns a gym and, like, a yoga studio there. Oh. Like, everybody's running around. So it's super cool. So I'm a big Team Alpha Male fan, and I'm super excited for this fight. Have you guys been to a UFC fight? No. Never. Oh, First one. This is about to be turned up, dude. No. Have you? Yeah, I went to one fight night. Uh, Uriah's last fight, and it was so sick. I was like three rows back, and I think I heard rumor we have pretty damn good tickets tonight, too. So I'm uber spoiled that my two only UFC fights that I'm close as shit. 
Because, like, fighting's so small, like, one-on-one, -on -one, if you're way up in the... You might as well watch that big screen thing. Might as well be pay-per-view, but if you got some dope ones, this environment's gonna be sick. Recently, though, we've been trying to watch on um, pay-per-view. Yeah. And I think so many people are streaming that it gets really choppy. Really? Yeah. You think yeah. they'd find a way to fix that? They yeah. got so much monies. Even if the, it could be streaming, it could be cable. Yeah. One night we ordered both, just double check, and it was still... Still crappy. crappy. Yeah, and they gotta take a shit, too. Oh, uh, okay, bye-bye. Kiss yourself. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that, Taika? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that little clean guy? Who that? Who that? Who that? Who that, dude? What's he doing? Where'd he go? Uh oh. What's he doing? He's gonna try to take my camera. Who's that? Who's that? Huh, dude? Oh, basketball. Take <laughs> it. I'll see it, dude. Oh yeah, yeah yeah. Oh yeah yeah. Coming down the court, drops the ball. Pass, pass the team. Pass it back. Oh, that was a good pass, dude. Okay. Yep, yep. He's distracting the audience. Okay. And here, they're right there. Yeah yeah. Open. Okay. <laughs> okay, you're open. Here you go. Put it in there. All right, pass it to him. Oh, good pass. I tackle with the assist. So I'm super lucky. Um. Been working with Reebok for five years. Homies with Barber Brigade and other companies. Um, partnered with Barber Brigade and other people uh, that make apparel. So I haven't had to buy a bunch of clothes, but, and mostly you guys see me in gym clothes, but I'm a huge streetwear guy. I love clothes, love sneakers. We've talked about sneakers in the past a little bit. Just because of basketball and everything else that I rock, I love sneakers, I love clothes. So I went on a fat shopping spree. I normally don't buy clothes, but uh, bought a bunch of jerseys. So I got this kind of long sleeve warm up. Penny Hardaway, big 90s hoop fan. The Penny, Penny before the knee injury, absolute beast. Could have been one of the greats, was one of the greats. And then I grabbed this San Antonio uh, soccer jersey for the World Cup, Mitchell & Ness, one of my favorite companies. They do throwback stuff. They basically made soccer jerseys for a couple NBA teams, and uh, that one looked the dopest. I am a Cavaliers fan. Grew up a little bit of a Bulls fan just because of the Jordan Airs when I began watching basketball. Uh, but I'm a Kings fan and a Cavs fan. But I just love good players and good hoops, so. History of the game. One, it looked the coolest. I like Ginobili. I like watching good players. So San Antonio, I might rep it. Don't know what we're going to wear today. But this one's maybe comfier, so maybe we'll keep with this. We'll see. Just getting ready. About to leave. It's about 2.40 or so. Again, I don't think we can bring cameras, so hopefully I'm going to steal footage from Gio's phone. We might vlog on that. I have a droid. I know everyone makes fun of me. You can hate on me in the comments, but with the droid, it's hard to transfer footage, so I normally don't vlog on there. Otherwise, I would and transfer it to Connor to edit, but iPhone will be a little easier. Feeling comfy, excited for the fights. Gonna grab a nice chicken sandwich and a burr. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're here, baby. And now we're gonna see his opponent. Oh my God! Woo! Oh, 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 on this side but I just realized that there's no commentary going on so everything I watch on TV with Joe Rogan and like all the other commentators I see Joe Rogan I don't hear anything look at how quiet everything is listen you can hear all the skin slaps too like it's sex like pop, pop, pop. yeah 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 oh yeah tick tap bad boy what kind of sex are you having the good kind <laughs> UFC sex dude I don't know sex it sounds like it's gonna knock me out and send me into a KO mama sex
Motel 6. Ready to jump out. Check in the Motel 6 and Sunday morning. House shopping. Yeah, looking at some houses. Oh, I just won actually. You can have one house. Uh, this one, it's a mid-century home. You guys know what that means? No, what the hell does that mean? Um, do you watch Mad Men? No. You don't watch Mad Men? I don't watch anything. Uh, mid-century, it's like that 50s era, you know, like oh. in the diner days. So oh. it's like made in that, uh, kind of like- Greece. A, uh, yeah. <laughs> but not that style. But if the, so if Greece is like the blue collar version of that era. Oh. Think of like the more, um. Like, like the mob? Kind of like Frank Sinatra. Yeah, like the mob. Yeah, 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 like yeah, the mob. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, think think, of, think of the home that Frank Sinatra would have. It would be like that. Is it that style or was it made then? Uh, it could be both. Oh, we'll but find mid-century out. is. Oh, that I mean, style. this one. This one where. This one, they. I think it was made with that style, and they modernized some parts. But some parts that we saw pictures were like, oh, we still got to do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the space is good. Bar and I are both looking for homes, but different reasons, different like whys behind it. You know, every purchase you make can have a different why. Mine's obviously a little bit more investment. It's the first home I'm buying. This is your second Don't home. Don't lie, you're just trying to get laid, dude. Dude, just trying to get a bachelor pad. Uh, so I'm trying to get investment first, and then somewhere that I'd like, and then somewhere that would be good for work. I guess those are the the, the tiers for me are. Priority number one, something I think that will have and hold good value over time, either as a rental or to sell it down the road that will gain value uh, based on location and, and type of house. Two for me, I guess it's tied for two and there's no three. It's uh, the workflow and what will allow me and Connor to work our best there. And then two, um, what I'd like and what I want to live in. So uh, I like seeing houses. I guess the older you get, the more weird stuff you're into. People like joke about that, but it's true. Like I'm not excited to get a vacuum for Christmas or whatever that meme is, but I am a little more excited to like look at houses, see houses, no pricing differences from different cities. Um, we're heading off a little bit into the hills here in LA and then uh, compared to Sacramento or wherever I travel, whenever I travel now, you know, if I'm in Phoenix or Miami or whatever it might be, uh, I'll check out different prices on the, on the website. <clears throat> Zillo, it's just like a super basic kind of Craigslisty type site for different housing. I like to see what the costs are per square foot and what things look like. So me and Tyke are all packed up. Geo bar about to get in the car. I need coffee or something bad. I just woke up and showered, no food. I don't really need food, but I need some caffeine. And uh, house hunting, we go. And then I head home later today. House shopping over with. I am freaking starving. I never eat breakfast, but uh, all we had was a little sandwich at the fights last night and a beer or two. Uh, so I'm starving right now. I guess it's not even breakfast time. It's probably 11 o'clock, so that's why I'm hungry. I normally daily routines wake up 8, 7 30, bunch of coffee, bunch of emails, and then I don't eat till 11. But I'm on, I'm on a Tyka's vibes right now, dude. Some food and some sleep. Unforgettable. Look, you come to LA and you hear about Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. And it's good, it's a good start, it's a good foot in the door, but it's not what you're looking for. Now, the basics of Chicken Waffles, if those that have never had it, is literally just fried chicken and waffles. Hopefully, you get chicken with a bone in, just because that's how the tradition goes. And to make good chicken and waffles, all you really need is a really good piece of fried chicken, a really good waffle, and bada boom, bada bing, you're there. It doesn't have to be over complicated, it doesn't have to be over creative. What do you say bada bing, bada boom for? Yeah, I'm Italian. Thank you, Tom. That's a real Italian. Else in Italian. A bibi bibi bici, huh? Yeah? What the hell is that? My last name's a foreign match, huh? Yeah? Is it? Yeah. That's pretty Italian. Farinacci. Whose pretty... last name is what? Farinacci. Oh. Yeah. Which yeah. Fat guy. 
Wow, dude. Throw shots at my family? First you throw shots at my gaming skills. <laughs> Look, you can throw shots at my family, but you don't better talk about my gaming oh, skills you again. Put, you put down your last name? My family did, yeah. My great uncle was a, a pro boxer. That's so fast last name. Why would you do that? Uh, because they were being segregated against in the 40s. So he was in the 40s and he was a pro boxer. And for him to be in the public light, uh, he was discriminated against. So he changed it. To, uh, his name was Giovanni Farinacci. And he changed it to Johnny Farr. And then the rest of the family changed it to Johnny Farr. Farinacci's not bad. But then I'll get more Luigi jokes. Even though this is a nice stat. I don't think you get the Luigi jokes because of your last name, and I don't think you'll ever get it because of your last name. It's because of your face. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying when you're more Italian. Can I get back to my chicken and waffles, dude? You should just stop wearing red while you're at it. That shit was boring. You look exactly like Mario right now. I'm getting look. back to my chicken and waffles, dude. Yeah, he doesn't agree, dude. You're making him cry. He thinks I look great. Tell him about chicken and waffles with their vast culinary knowledge. That's what I was getting into. That's what we were digging into. So all I'm looking for is is a homemade fried chicken. And if I say, am I even recording? You made me mess my shit up, dude. Dude, everyone's falling asleep, dude. Dude, this chicken and waffles. They crushed the chicken. They crushed the chicken. The chicken is a 10 out of 10. It was juicy, very juicy. Dude, the lightly breaded, not overly fried. Often what people do with chicken, fried chicken or fried anything is they just overly fry it and they think that's going to make the meal. But this one was fried. Dude, what are you doing, dude? Steroids, dude. Are they fake? Why aren't they working? I heard in the car that it's already so big. There's nothing petite in or around you. No one no, when we're digging into the waffle, I don't want to say that it was lackluster, but it was lackluster. The flavor on the waffle was on point, but it was a little soggy. I need a crispy outside waffle and a soft cake-like inside, and they didn't quite nail that. The waffle, I'm giving maybe a 6 out of 10. Chicken's probably 9 out of 10. I'm a goddamn fat kid that knows about food. But you don't like white sauces. No. I don't like mayo. No, I don't like mayo. If it's like in some stuff. All right, you're weird, dude. You're weird, dude. What's my French toast? What's the French toast? Give us, give us your speech on the it's French really toast. Good. It has like cinnamon pecans on it. Yeah, I have the last one. Oh, I can already feel it. You can already feel the crispy. That's what I'm talking about. You need the crispy outside, the cake-like inside. You want some? Rip it. The French toast is better than the waffle. The waffle's lackluster, right? Yeah. But the chicken, it's 10 out of 10. Yeah, yeah. Creativity, normal, which I'm fine with. You can't overcomplicate the chicken and waffle process. The chicken itself, 10 out of 10. Waffle, 6 out of 10. We're going with the average, 7.71 out of 10. You're so good. You did math on a food show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're so good. <laughs> Stop by Ant's house, little barbecue action, little swim action. I don't really like to swim, and these guys only make fun of me for it. But he's got a full size basketball hoop in the pool. So we're trying to play a little horse. Bart's trying to make a shot in the water, so I gotta go in there, and I'm trying to avoid the water at all costs. Back to Bart's house, had to pack up real quick. Heading back home tonight, it is Sunday night and tomorrow, as I said, we have the biggest project, the biggest partnership, the biggest sponsorship that I have to date. So I'm really excited to shoot that with Connor tomorrow morning. We'll probably continue this vlog into there. Uh, today was a little short, we we're just hanging out and chilling, but tomorrow we got uh, a lot of lifting to do, a lot of filming to do, and I will inform you guys. Right now, give it a thumbs up. Because within the next couple clips, you're going to know the biggest partnership I had today. And I have you guys to thank for it. Really excited about it. Excited to share it with you guys. Um, appreciate it. Hope you had a good day. Hope you enjoyed some of that UFC footage. Now we're going to head, basically uh, pack up, head to the airport, head home, sleep. Then it's gym time. See you there.